Holy moly, here we go again. It's almost midnight, and that's right. I'm installing some nuts. 2020 Sport Glide down here on the ground in the garage because that's how I roll. We are doing uh, front axle nut covers, die cast black. Uh, I have, I mean, if you look at the front fork with the, uh, <sighs> this Chingus here, this is all black. You gotta max it, match it. These were uh, $29.95, the Harley dealership. Let me see if I can put that up there, right there. Um, it's a multi-fit, so it's going to fit a uh, 07 or later soft tail, which uh, hopefully fits my bike. If not, I'm going to return them. Also, comes with a front axle assembly kit. I'm thinking I'm going to pay $29 for a set of nuts, and uh, then I'm going to end up paying for this. It was like 53 bucks altogether. This itself was some more money I had to spend. And I just asked the guy, hey, I'm looking for some uh, axle nut covers for my 2020 Sport Glide. You guys have any that fit? I'm looking through the schedule, the calendar. I mean, the book. What am I saying? He's looking through his book. Oh, they're here. Need this. Oh, yeah, here they are. I'll be right back. I didn't say I wanted to buy them. I said I'm just looking for them. He puts it out in front of me. He said, okay, cool. Bring it up. Pay three bucks. Guess I'm going to buy them. I mean, initially that was the, the thought, right? But so we are going to go ahead and open this box up, which is the uh, assembly kit. Uh, right there, if you can see that. Rod, which I believe is supposed to go all the way through, but we'll check it out. I have no idea. Hence the instructions. All right, so we have some uh, nut plugs, not butt plugs, but nut plugs. Uh, screws. And it looks like I'm going to need a uh, Torx bit, something or other. Long rod. All right. Front axle cover adapter kit. Instructions. We are going to uh, for, refer to table one and two. So it looks like we're going to be sticking on a rod on one end. Like this with a screw on it. So this is gonna stick out the end, you guys can see, down here, and then the nut's gonna go on top of that. Um, so what we're gonna need to do, all right, ply Loctite 243 blue to screw threads, prior assembly. Preassemble the right hand side of the adapter kit by inserting the screw through the washer Okay, so I have a washer right here, which then is going to be put on, okay, so five is an O-ring. Preassemble right hand side of the adapter kit by inserting the screw through the washer right base number seven. Okay. So, this is the base. This is one of the screws. So, this is going on here like that. The little washer on there. And. I need to put some Loctite on the screw. Let's get the Loctite out. All right, blue Loctite. 
Let's move you up just a little bit. Blue Loctite on the screw. And then that's going to be screwed into here. And there's some threads. You can see. So I'm going to thread that in there. Tight in right side assembly. Okay. All right, two, three, seven. All right, base until snug. All right, so this is going on there. Then I'm going to come down with the blue Loctite and put it in. Tighten down till snug. Copy that. And it looks like. Yep. I need a Torx 30 on this. All right. A little Torx 30. Tighten down until snug. And there's no. Uh, there's no torque spec on this. Pretty snug to me. Hand tight. Okay. To thread a base until snug. Install O-ring five. So that is gonna be, got a rubber O-ring in here. Right there. That is going to go on the shaft like such. All right, it says install one inch from left hand, left end of threaded rod as shown. Eh, one inch is about yay much. I could measure it though, probably would be smarter. Let's see, got a measuring stick somewhere? Of course not. Not ever, oh yeah, this, oh crap. All right, one inch, I'm back. One inch from the end. Oh, I was off just a little bit. One inch, I got it. How do you measure your inch? <laughs> All right, so now what we need to do is install O-ring one inch from the end of the threaded rod as shown. Insert the adapter kit into the axle from the right hand side. So, coming down this way from the right hand side. So, you guys can see the the axle nuts on, on most of the, uh, at least on the soft tail line, uh, are gonna be recessed in there. Uh, I haven't really experienced too many or haven't seen too many different axle nuts that are sticking outside like on a dirt bike. Uh, as far as my bike is concerned, they're recessed, hence the adapter kit. So this is going coming in on the right-hand side all the way down until it sits flush. Okay, so now it says insert it all the way into the other side. Slight gap between left base and fork slider is normal once installed. So we need to apply a washer and oop, screw. Do the same, repeat the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. Some blue Loctite for this bad boy, yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to take the other nut, and walk you around. I'm going to do the same thing on this side.
Let me see here. Hmm. Why? Oh. So apparently they have these longer screws that come in the kit and the, the problem I'm having right now is the screw that I'm supplied with won't reach all the way in because the nuts themselves all they do is just snap over the top of the the adapter kit and you're good to go. So as I'm reading this right now it looks like that's the situation I'm in because these things just snap over the top. You open them up. Open them up here for you guys. Because on the left side here, it's recessed too far in for this to even reach. So to show you guys these nuts, all these are, they're just gonna go over and there's two holes in here for set screws. So, that's where we're at with that. And there is a tiny little Allen wrench and two little set screws inside here that um, are gonna be put in. So, we need to uh, adjust this accordingly. And therefore, make sure this fits in the correct spot. Yep, so Loctite needs to go on this one with the washer. Now let's take that off of the other one. Stick it on here. Trial and error. Place in there till they're snug. And for my own benefit, I'll be uh, just ratcheting it down real quick. There is a little bit of uh, free play. It's not 100% snug. says insert adapter kit into axle from right hand side which is what I did blues okay um, pre-assemble the the right hand side with the adapter kit inserting the screw through the washer right base and thread into base part until snug insert o-ring one inch from the left hand side of the threaded rod as shown which is what I did Okay, so this one and this, extra screws, no big deal. Going back in the bag, extra parts bag. Um, okay, so now, now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to, to actually putting on the, the, uh, the cap. So 
one black nut, two black nut. Ooh, I said nut. Another set of instructions. All right, so installation, got the kit, installing axle nut side cover. Get one cover and the longer set screw from the kit. So one cover and the longer set. So there's two screws in here. You can see this is the longer one. So that's the one I need to get out. And it already has some thread locker on it. I'm going to thread the set screw halfway into the hole in the side of the cover. So there's two holes in here and it doesn't say which hole to put it in. So I assume it's going to be in the one in the middle. Nope, I guess not. Halfway. So I'm gonna do it to right where it barely shows, like it's, it's coming out of the bottom. So I can see it. And it's right there. All right, so then it says use hole A for 2008 and later Sportster models. I don't have a Sportster. So hole A is going to be uh, well, honestly, Oh, there we go. Okay, so hole A is gonna be the first hole that I put it in. And then hole B is the other one. So I actually need to go to the other one because I don't have a Sportster here. I have a soft tail. Sport Glide 2020. So I need to go into the other hole. Put it in the other hole, Sam. All right, so we are moving on down the road here. Position cover over axle nut. Models with cotter pins, verify cotter pins. So if you have a cotter pin on your axle nut, they actually have a diagram on how to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just position this over. And, uh, huh, it looks like it doesn't even, well, let's give it a shot here. Yep, all right, so, once you get the set screw in, like it doesn't move. So, and then you, visually you can see the two holes. So the suggestion is take and rotate it down so that it's facing down the street or street level. So I'm gonna show you guys this here. So this is, if you can see this, the two holes are facing to the front. So visually I can see that. So I'm gonna put it, face it down and just tighten it up down from the, from the bottom. And don't make it, don't let it throw you off because I initially looking at it doesn't look like it, it would set up against that, the uh, assembly, but it does. 
it's in there pretty solid, so we're good with that. Now, just go ahead and move to the other side. So the same thing applies. I need to get the other set screw. And then, um, get the remaining cover and the shorter set screw from the kit. Thread the set screw halfway into the hole for, use hole A for 2008 later sports or models, which I don't, holes B for other models. So, up getting the shorter screw, and it's gonna go in the same hole I just used, which is hole B, and that's gonna be the interior one, not the one here on the side, but right here. So you wanna start the thread. And guys, this is, this is such an easy job, and it's just one of those aesthetic, the aesthetic things that you do to your to your ride that you just kind of make it look more complete. Now, I got the set screws for, or not the set screws, but the axle nuts ah, uh, for the front. And I didn't get any for the back just yet. Uh, I have, you know, some saddle bags sitting back there. And, um... Uh, I figured, well, you know what? The saddlebags cover up the the nuts pretty good. But looking at it, you can actually see them when they're exposed. So I will be doing the same to the rear so that everything looks complete. It's not like I'm riding right now anyways, because I'm still injured. So, I'm going to take this down and show you guys. Okay, so, there you go. Now everything looks complete. You don't have any exposed metal. And there's this one on that side. Uh, I'll go around and show you the, the back real quick. So, here's the back. So, you can clearly see them out in the open. So, yeah, I mean, definitely want to cover those up. And then that's the left side. And the right side, I mean, the right side's all the way up under, behind the muffler, Reinhardt. Uh, either way, if you're going to do the job, do it 100%. And if I roll without the saddlebags to where it's just a clean, naked look, then, yeah, I mean, you know, I want everything covered up. So, anyways, guys. That's a installation video for these nuts. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, leave some comments, subscribe, like, do whatever you want. I don't care. See ya.